Would you believe that Love Struck hasn't even come out yet and it's already basically confirmed what the next expansion pack is going to be, which is honestly just so funny. Now, my original thought, I just want to say, is I thought fairies were going to be the next expansion pack because we have had so many hints. In the two recent kits, there were like butterfly wings in the one of the cast outfits and in a couple of the built mode outfits of those kits. In Love Struck, it seems like there's actually going to be some like butterfly looking stuff in there too. Obviously butterflies and fairies aren't the same thing but they both have wings so that was my original thought like we're going to be getting fairies next. Another popular speculation has been bands although bands have been in speculation for years like when I've told you guys before we're not getting them the sims 4 AI cannot handle it. It cannot handle putting a group of sims together and having them play a song harmoniously like this is a sims 4 that is not happening. There have been rumors now for a while about the sims for get get funeral my first death stuff whatever you want to call it and one of the sims team employees has hinted that we're getting death in the next expansion pack and i'm sure when love struck comes out like there will be some kind of hints in that pack as well so we'll be able to have a proper look at it when it comes out but for now we're basically like maybe 80 to 90 percent sure that the next expansion pack is going to be about death so i think it would be fun to speculate what is actually coming in the expansion about death? How could they make a whole EP about death? I mean, how could they make a whole expansion pack about horses? They did it. How could they make a whole expansion pack about being a landlord? They did it. How could they make a whole expansion pack about going on dates? They did it. So of course we're getting a whole expansion pack about having a funeral. So we could speculate, oh, it's going to come with all these different features. But in reality, Sims 4 expansion packs now are basically game packs. So they won't it won't come with that much i have a feeling that it might come with a brand new funeral event again like all of the more recent sims for expansion packs they seem to be using a lot of borrowed coding and borrowed elements and concepts from other packs for example with love struck the brand new dating system it's basically the my wedding stories event creation system so i think it's reasonable to assume that this whole event creation system will probably come into a death pack where you can decide what kind of things that you would put into a funeral. I can't believe funerals are coming as an expansion. I just can't believe it. What kind of like event things would you do at a funeral? One of them would be to mourn, obviously. Like, I don't know how deep they would do a whole funeral thing in The Sims 4. Do you know what I mean? Like, how far are they going to go with it? Because obviously it's like a touchy subject death. And The Sims 4 makes it kind of light and goofy and humorous. If we had a whole pack about death, I don't think it would be that light like and goofy and humorous. Like, I think they would have to try really, really hard to actually make it feel like it's funny rather than kind of like a bit too sad. There have been some rumors about a whole Grim Reaper career because the Sims team actually did a few surveys before where they've asked them as what kind of packs that they want. And in a couple of them, it's mentioned like a Grim Reaper career, which I think would be a really interesting one. And I'm not really too sure how they would make it a whole career unless it was just a rabbit hole. So maybe Maybe this is going to come with a new rabbit hole career. I don't know if it would come with a live career really because I feel like they've kind of given up on those. Something that would be cool could be a funeral, not funeral home, what am I talking about? A care home or like an old people's home because with The Sims 4 for rent you can already kind of make care homes actually. I made one in a video once and it was really really fun to do and it actually functioned quite well but obviously it was a bit of a workaround way to make a care home so maybe with a pack like this they could actually actually make a proper care home. It would also be a good pack to finally come with a brand new cemetery or graveyard lot type, which I don't know why we don't have in The Sims 4. The last time we had it was in The Sims 3 and there was one in every single world. Even if there wasn't a Grim Reaper career as well, there could be, is it called like a mortician or something? Like one of those? as like a rabbit hole career. Another system we don't actually have in The Sims 4 is like an inheritance or a will system. Now, there was a Sims 4 scenario once where they actually kind of introduce kind of an inheritance which is very similar to a will. In this Sims 4 scenario you and the siblings like you had to battle out to get the most money from the inheritance and it actually like worked out properly in the game. It was quite cool so they could probably implement that in this brand new pack too. Obviously build mode could always be about making a cemetery with different ways you can make a nice looking graveyard even with tombs or like mausoleum thing or crematoriums whatever. 
That would be really cool. It could come with grave and customization. <laughs> I don't know. Being able to customize like a Sims grave and put flowers on it and stuff. And instead of actually just having a grave, it can be like longer, like there would be in real life with like a pit in the ground. That's, that's so morbid. <laughs> this is why I don't understand how a pack like this could work because it is a bit morbid. I did actually play with a funeral mod once and it's an incredible mod, by the way. Like it works very, very well. It's by Sim Realist, one of my favorite Sims 4 modders. So if you do really like the idea of having a funeral, like please download that mod because it's absolutely amazing. I think it would be a cool opportunity. I don't know what cast they would put with it. Maybe just like some formal stuff with a lot of blacks. I don't know. Or maybe like, do you know what guys? Like I have been dying. I feel like that's a great, that, that works kind of like a pun. I've been dying for like some more elder stuff for ages. And I know a lot of simmers have. So instead of maybe just revolving the whole pack around death, maybe it can basically just be a whole pack for elders themselves and having more elder related activities, not just maybe the whole pack focus around death. Maybe it could simply be my first elder stuff. Get old fogey living. Do you know what I mean? Because they could add, for example, some elder aspirations. That'd be really cool to get some aspirations that are just so unique to elders and would make sense to them. Even though this kind of thing should have technically been included in growing together because that was all about going through every single stage of life. In reality, growing together was just about infants because every other life stage is locked behind some kind of pack apart from elders which don't have one yet. So it makes sense to me that we would more likely be getting an, instead of like a get death pack, it would be like a get old pack if that makes any more sense. And wouldn't it be so ironic if it was the last, the last expansion pack for The Sims 4 all about death and the death of The Sims 4. <laughs> A pack like this, maybe it could come with a brand new walk style for elders. It includes a walking cane, for example. Something that came with The Sims 3 Generations that should have come in The Sims 4 growing together. Okay, shut up. I'm just being catty, but they could probably put that in there. Maybe it could come with bowl, bowl, are they called bowls or balls? You know, like outside, it's kind of like bowling where they throw those balls on a lawn. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like they could include something like that, maybe. What else do elderly people do? Like they could include some kind of new dance, like ballroom dancing or something. Thing that would work in a pack like that for elders. They could also include classes because we do not have classes in The Sims 4. Technically, there's a couple which are rabbit holes, but wouldn't it be really exciting because elders don't really have jobs? What if you give an elder sim like, like literally like a live hobby class that you can go to with a teacher and they can socialize and they can learn to do different skills when they're there? That would be really cool. I don't know what they would do for a world. Like it is 100% going to be an expansion pack, not a game pack. So we'll have to come with the world. I cannot think of any. What they've done with the last couple packs is I feel like the worlds have been like representation worlds where they're trying to represent cultures they've never done before, even though they don't directly relate to the pack theme. So potentially they're going to be doing that probably with this new Death Forward slash Elders pack. But like, you know, when the Growing Together pack was announced, I thought to myself, like, how on earth are they going to, like, how are they justifying this being an expansion pack? Because it's not an expansion. And then Horse Ranch came out and it was even worse. And I was like, this this is 100% game pack territory. For Rent was 100% game pack territory. Love Struck is 100% game pack territory. So I feel like it's important not to over speculate because guys like the, the Sims team are literally under delivering. Like they're, they're doing it deliberately. Like it's so obvious. If they know you guys are going to buy the packs, whether it, like whether it's small or big, so they just don't really care anymore, obviously. So I don't want to like get anybody's hopes up too much. Like, oh, this pack could come with so much stuff because I genuinely don't think it will. Although this expansion pack should not be coming out soon. According to some leaks, we've got a couple more kits before this would come out. So you'll have to wait. You guys let me know genuinely what you think this pack could be about because I honestly just have absolutely no idea. I couldn't even fathom like what on earth is going to justify this being an expansion pack. <laughs> I don't, I think it's going to be a flop. Just like Love Struck is a bit of a flop. Like they have so clearly ran out of ideas now. They've 100% run out of ideas and it's so funny. Like, I think Simmers want fairies. I think they should do that. I think they should release bands because, and they should release hotels because these are three things that Simmers really want. I feel like they need to focus on this. Right? Like, it's like the last like few expansions have just been so random. Like, what are they even about? So hopefully we'll get some more like actual stuff that we really want next. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos or updates. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.